Sounds like the music's off, right? I believe it is. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is not an emergency broadcast. This is a routine. A routine but special. Every broadcast is special at WBIG TV because you, the lounge cadet, is special. It's Friday, it's five. We're ready to do some lounging. We're wondering if anybody's gonna be here or not as we always are at this time. Although we do have two special guests here that I'll tell you about in a little while. I'm, in the meantime, I'm gonna finish horsing around here getting the getting everything set up. There's a couple things I have to do once the transmission has, uh, has started, has commenced. And uh, one is to uh, type a test message. I'm typing hi, there it goes, came up, beautiful. That's done. It's kind of like one of those Elon Musk space programs, you know? You learn by doing. And now I'm going to bring the live stream up. How's the levels there? Okay. I'm going to bring the live stream up on my phone. So I can, in case I get bored, I can watch. There we are. So far, nobody's watching. <laughs> Except me. Well, that could be, Mary. Um, we know a couple who are. This is, uh, sure. this is typical, though. Yes. Knock on wood. The opening, the opening salvo of chords. Nick Otto's with us, ladies and gentlemen. Nick's with us in Virginia. Which is nice because he's been gone. Now I gave I gave the piano a uh, the world's quickest tune-up job. I didn't even allow time to do it, and I was late anyway. <laughs> oh yeah. No, the tuner was there. I think the tuner was there. Like the German tuner. So we got some real special guests for you tonight. Oh, it does sound better. I didn't tune the whole piano, just strategically tuned it. It's much better. Oops, hear that. Actually, that was a wrong note. I could have blamed it on the tuning. I was so excited that Janet was going to be here tonight, all the way from Miami, that I forgot to bring my my coat. Nick, I forgot my dinner, my jacket, my dinner jacket, my cocktail jacket. Ryan, president of WBIG TV, is here. I think he heard me too, even though we're only on one on the PA. Yes, I met Ryan. Ryan at the bar. Is that right? That's how we got to be president. Says 
says hi to everybody. Everybody says hi back, including the president. The president recognized Nick Otto. Oh, yeah, he's laminated a couple of I was experimenting with uh, some other paper. That's actually, that's actually sticker paper. It, so it's probably... On the, on the one side, it's waterproof, but on the other side, it's the part you peel off, so it, it probably gets ruined when it gets wet. You could theoretically stick this on something? We could permanently stick it to the piano. Audrey Clark is with us. Nice to see you, Audrey. You're looking great. You're looking very summery. As we all know, she needs no introduction, but in case you're new around here, Audrey is only the founder of the Jackie Jockey, Jackie Jocko fan club in 1953. But she remains the ex officio president to this day. Stairs. He's, he's, he's casing the place. He's like a cat. Dante's walking up. has its pluses. <laughs> we enjoyed ourselves too. She's got some beautiful vistas from her place. This is for Janet and her vistas. Good evening, Audrey. Who get Andrea's with us? Andrea. Andrea, hopefully, hope we see you tonight. But either way, it's great that we're seeing you. In the ether, how is your uh, limb? How's your body? I hope it's as spectacular as always. was a wild was a wild party it was it was uh, it was the quietest night we've ever had last week but it was also one of the most eventful I, I was going to communicate with you and I thought you know what it'll be fun just to tell you in person there was there was a guy locked first not, not in any order of importance or chronology, but um, the fire department came because some some people were trapped in the elevator. 
Yeah. And all the, all the women dug it. They were happy that the firemen were around. They like firemen. I noticed. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, you could share it to your thing. Share it to your thing. And then uh, there was a, uh, I, you know, what, what, some people are chiming in. Oh, we're, we've got some. Oh, Catherine is watching from from Luzi, France, under the stars. It's 11 p.m. Frederick and Cadillac. It's Frederick and Cadillac. They're in Paris. They're under the stars. How wonderful. You, you painted a beautiful picture in my mind. What about Charlie? Where's he tonight? All I got to do is look on Facebook and I can probably find, find what gin mill he's in right now. He's a real man about town. He's like a mayor. Charlie, who we got to meet, who was here just several weeks ago. What a guy. And you know, even Google, you were, you were saying, gee, he looks a lot like my cousin Ron. Um, his facial features? Well, in my Google Photos, he's in there, and it, it pegged him as Ron Moss. So it wasn't our man. He really does look like Ron Moss, more than I realized. The whole thing, the whole package. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that something? So we had a... Uh, Andrea, one of our favorites, she, um, some, something happened, did, did you see that part? Yeah, she, uh, she had like a slip and fall incident on the way in, S somewhere on, between the car and here, I don't know, on the way in, so she was being hospitalized, attended to, um, no, no, she was just being given first aid at the scene. That's as far as it got. All, all, all the big, important people of the Hyatt. Because Dave Corbett was in charge of the disaster, disaster relief. So, you know, he gets... They might have thrown him out. They didn't throw him out then. Once in a while they throw him out. I don't know. Maybe that's why we love Dave. It's never really for anything. Um, it's not for reasons like people normally get thrown out. Like usually. People get thrown out because they're like annoying other people or they're too drunk or they're picking fights, or, right? But Dave doesn't do any of those things. He just has a calm discussion with people and they throw him out. I'm, with, with, with officials. Not, not with just, you know, people out to have a good time. You wouldn't know anything's even going on. It's, Chris Martucci, are you really out there? My old friend? Oh, yeah, 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 Chris. I haven't seen you in years. Every time I see you, I buy something ridiculous. And I'm happy about it.
Oh, great. Great to see you, Chris. Well, tonight's starting to take shape already here, early in the first uh, first period of action. There goes uh, everybody's favorite valet, and that's Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. It's Diane. Princess Diane is here. She's, she gets an escort. She's like Billie Holiday. She refuses to come in without a young gentleman on her arm escorting her in. And it has to be Patrick, the valet. They, they all love Patrick. Nice to see you, Diane. Okay, uh, Chris Martucci. I'm now gonna. I'm gonna. Now, I'm gonna slowly increase. See, telling jokes in a hotel is like getting into a pool. Now, some people can just do a belly flop into a pool, but I'm in the camp where I gotta like put my toe in and get in real slowly and with a lot of agony. That's how I am with with, uh, with the hotel. So now I'm gonna start turning the. PA up for the uh, guests in the hotel and co-workers just creeping it up a little as I get used to the water and the water gets used to me Beautifully as they as they as they tend to do for Lounge Academy. Lounge Academy is one of those places where if you want to dress up, you can dress up all you want and like and get away with it because that's what people do at Lounge Academy, right? Especially Dante, he's got a lot of He's an artist, you know, so he's got a good eye for color and character. Chris. Appreciate that. I do good when I'm not thinking about what I'm doing. When I'm when I'm talking, I do better than when I'm not. Pauline's here. Oh yeah, yeah. Dante knows exactly what he's doing.
Neil, are you really out there? this uh, important government job now. It's protecting us all from ourselves. Right, Russ? a documentary on Ralph Lauren this week. Mary and I and it's it was actually it was actually very exciting. This one is not right. I gotta fix this one. Okay. It's like flying a big plane. You know, you gotta check it. You gotta check everything. You can't just assume everything is working. Here's this camera, this camera. Okay.
Trudy. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you for the sound check. It's great to see you, Trudy. Oh, my baby. Trudy, I can't give you anything but Lounge Academy. We're off to a good start here. You know, these, these summers, you never, these summer nights, you never know, like, what the hell's going to happen. Of course, we never do year-round. For so many years, decades, you just never know who's gonna, who you're gonna see. Uh, I always think of uh, what cars 
there in mind <laughs> boy these people <laughs> I don't know where their minds are at <laughs> looking everywhere <laughs> haven't found him yet he's the big affair seek you shall not forget only man I've ever think of with three <laughs> Regret. I'd like to add his initials to my monogram. Tell me, where is the shepherd for this? song this is? Mary knows. There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that he turns out to be someone who watch over me.
Gershwin do it from OK. No, it's called Chow Bella. Nice pick. Yeah, it's safe move, though, but now I understand. So there's this place in the hospital. There's a couple more. Oh, you got a couple in here? Beautiful. Yeah, I think it's in here. Great. All right. We'll keep you busy. That's good. Busy is good. That's it. This is a song about uh, the Niagara River. <laughs> hey, look at that. He's got a bucket of champagne and glasses. This guy, this guy's like James Bond. He must have sold a big big policy today. He sold life insurance so a guy was going to live forever. He looks like he knows what he's doing with that.
Remember, I remember all that you said. Told me love was too plebeian. Told me you were through with me, and now you say you love me. Well, just to prove you do. Tears flow. Oh, let's see them. Oh yeah. Arthur Hamilton. Now, I did not know the name of the person that wrote that, that chestnut, but his name is Arthur Hamilton, Crimea River. Remember Julie London singing that song? Wow. Holy cow. is looking forward to meeting Brenda one of these days. She hopes to meet Brenda. <laughs> Everybody thinks that's pretty funny, Rose. <laughs> I guess you don't have a chance of that happening. <laughs> but, you know, keep trying. You might meet Brenda. Takes a little doing. Mary had to start an art business to meet her. She's looking forward to, to meeting you, Rose. I know, I know that. She's a very, she's a very friendly person. In fact, I think you could call her gregarious, right? That's a word, right? Gregarious. Pauline, isn't that a word? Can you say Brenda's gregarious? Yeah, you can say that. Yeah. It means you don't eat meat. <laughs> Boy, they love it when I screw up. Which fortunately for the show is quite often. This is a learner and low song. See, Russ Renfola knows what that means. Russ knows a lot of things. That's right, Russ. Sunrise, your lips. 
Barbara's here, ladies and gentlemen. Barbara could sit wherever she wants. She's the 500 pound gorilla at Lounge Academy. Yeah, it's under the bell where it goes. Barbara's going to take it home and come back with it. Thank you. It's great to see you, Barbara. So I have one I picked out in here. Yeah, you can recycle those. Oh, okay. Is this is this one what kind of fool am I? Go for it. Rose is going to surprise everybody one of these days and show up. Just make sure it's on a Friday when we're here. We're looking forward to your being with us here at Lounge Academy in the flesh. We love having you here in the ether as well. after the quick tune-up I gave the piano. I gave it a, like, a, I just couldn't take it any longer. Did you get a quick tune-up? And I was here, I actually got here a little later than I like to get here. Yeah. So I was even, you know, if anything, pressed for time rather than having extra time. And I, I just, screw it, I gotta, I just gotta, like, if I do one active, so I did, an, and it went quickly. And, and then, it's like, wow. Ooh. Ooh. I know. Out of two pianos, Ooh. make me. It was out like it was out nuts. like 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 thirteen, fourteen cents. Yeah. Which is a oh, lot. Oh, it hurts. It yeah. hurts. It just hurts. I can't stand it. So I went and I did like I did two octaves. Yeah. And then I 
And then, the, you know, the other ones are on like separate harps, sections yeah. of the harp, yeah. and they weren't as far off, but there were just a few conkers, so I just like found the conkers and gave them a quickie. And you know, it's a, it's a big improvement. I mean, it, does sound really it could good. use, you know, real polishing, but, but it's, it's, it sounds nice. It's a beautiful sounding piano. So I'm really happy I got that accomplished. It sounds pretty smart today, you know? It does sound Yeah, yeah, it's better. What kind of fool am I? I asked myself Is this that funny? <laughs> Who never fell in love? thinking of what kind of man is this an empty shell only cell in which an empty heart must dwell with every kiss that whispered empty words of love that left alone like this why can't I fall in love Hey, you out there? 
for Don Katz. I can see myself skiing down a giant mountain. We're picking up speed. Here comes the trees, but I'm skiing like Don Katz, just grazing them. Somebody loves you. It's no good unless she loves you. Smattering. The girls found a phone over the lying over at the bar and they're looking through it. That's always fun. It's amazing what you can learn about a total stranger. Might be a guy. Barb's returning to take her place at the 
She's taking the long way. my day worthwhile. Here's a song that got me in big trouble once. Right, Ken Duke. I'm looking forward to seeing Ken Duke this weekend at my class reunion. special. I do that for you. We'll have a room. A new room for two rooms. Where every day is a holiday. Because you're married to me. You know this song, Barbara? anymore do you Barbara that's why that's why we have lounge Academy to keep the music playing uh, well it, it could happen in the chaos of war And when two lovers woo, 
they still say I love you and that you can rely. You shoot a song, reshoot a scene, and the leading lady had cut her hair so they couldn't reshoot the scene. Oh, thank God for design Yeah, right? Yeah, very good, Barbara. <laughs> so anyway, he instead he worked with it, and he actually made it like the theme for the whole last part of the movie, you know, worked it in, and, uh, and it was you know, it was golden. singers start you know singing yeah. and they have trouble for a while with intonation yeah. and you know it's a big advantage to be accompanying yourself oh, yeah. when you're singing because whenever I need like calibration yeah. I just I just play a note while yeah. I'm doing a song you know and, and I know Yeah, it's something that just gets learned. I don't always do it, but I can always tell when I'm not doing it. That's it. That's most of the battle. Because then you can be self-correcting, you know. That's my that that's actually my strongest suit. Is, is making the wrong notes work because I get so much practice doing it. I get long values very well, except sometimes. Oh, what a great song! I'm familiar with it. Yeah.
without you very well. Of course I do. Except when soft rains fall and drip from weirs, and I recall the thrill of being sheltered in your arms. Of course I do. But I get along. Without you very well. I've forgotten you just like I should. Of course I have. Set to hear your name or someone's laugh that is the same but I've forgotten you just like I should what a guy what a fool am I Great song. That's a fantastic song. I have a question about you know he wrote Georgia for his sister. Is that right? And he also wrote Interesting thought, isn't it? It's nice when siblings are fond of one another. It's nice when sim siblings remain fond of one another. You know. for Richard Snowden. How are you, sir? Richard's been to Lounge Academy. Thank you. 
that's coming up with our next big hit. I tried this one. This one's easier to read. All, all things being equal. But, but there's some also some it's fun to go through those other books too though because they've got other nuggets that aren't in that book. I do, but you know, I really do. You gotta be able to speak. I gotta work on it. I'm, 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 I'm working on that. I, I really like it more and more. I love it more and more. Let's make the music and dance. Okay. We'll do it as a bossa nova. Okay. You can practice your bossa nova. Yeah. This one's by Oiving Berlin. experimental rockets. Fleet. The fleet. With Fred and Ginger. With apologies to Fred and Ginger. Okay. And you know what I misspoke? Of course it's Portuguese. With Joey. Can you do this? You can give it a shot, right? Might as well after that last one. I thought it was great. I thought it was wonderful. Oh, okay. Well, thank you.
Watching Lounge Academy. It's Betty. Ooh, Betty's here. Welcome, welcome back to Lounge Academy. It's about the Buffalo waterfront. It's by Brian Higgins. This is his song. <laughs> he, he loves the waterfront, doesn't he? Yeah. I cover the waterfront. I'm watching the sea for the one I love coming back to me. I cover the waterfront in search of my love. I'm covered by a starless sky above Here I am, patiently waiting Hoping and longing, oh how 
Zion, where are you? Why are you forgetting? Do you remember? Will you return? I cover the waterfronts. I'm watching the sea. The one I love soon be back for me. See, that's, a, that's that tension, that yeah. musical tension of space. Nobody ever does it on purpose, though. They just say that to make it sound like they're musicologists. Oh, he knew how to use space. Well, I heard a lot about space. You forgot what note's coming up. It was just one of those things. One of those crazy flings. One of those bells that now and then rings. It was just, just, just one of those things. It was just one of those nights, just, just one of those fabulous flights, a trip to the moon on gossiper wings, it was just one of those things. of it by the end of it we started painting the town we've been aware that our love affair was too hot to cool down so goodbye goodbye dear and I'm from Jubilee. Thank you, Barbara. Cole Porter, of course. Not necessarily, of course. That's right, our, our high school reunion. We went to a reform school, 42. <laughs> we were in Father Baker's uh, special class. <laughs> we still are, never graduated. We escaped. of it all.
killed Howard's uh, son. Uh -oh. <laughs> I hope it went to. Oh, it was on. Okay. Some back over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. See, now I would find alligators in my backyard exciting. I guess it's all what you're used to, right? I mean, I, this is exciting too. I'm just saying. Sure, but I think I think it might be Rogers and Hart. Do I write songs? Oh, um. yeah. Well, yeah, we should, you know, because Mary's Mary's the uh, the lyricist. Every so many decades, we sit down and go, okay, let's do this. And I'll say, okay, you, you write the words first, or I'll write the thing first. And then I never finish them, though. But, you know, I think I could probably finish them now. I think I could do it now. Yeah, it was 
was really cool the way they used to do it, like a like an assembly plant that in, in New York. They called it Tin Pan Alley, and everyone was in cubicles with a piano, selling songs. The Brill Building. The Brill Building. Yeah, that's right. It's correct for five dollars. <laughs> feel like I'm in a game show. <laughs> left at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round. They all left when Edison recorded sound. They all left at Wilbur and his brother when he said that men could fly. They said Marconi's wireless was phony. It's the same old cry. They laughed at me. Watching you said we're reaching for the moon. Ooh, they came through. Now I have to change their tune. They all said we never could be happy. They all laughed at us and how. Who's got that last laugh now? First one from Shall We Dance? That's the laughing at the end. That's the laughing at the end. This is this is a nice song. And Cindy Lauper did not write this version of it. Or perform it. I don't know if she wrote her version. Somebody might have written it for her, I'm not sure. I don't want to take away the writing credits from her if she did write it. But this song was written first by Jewel Stein and Sammy Kahn. Time after time I tell myself that I'm so lucky
Who's feeling fancy free? If you're feeling fancy free, come wander through the world with me. And any place we chance to be will be a rendezvous. Two for the road, we'll travel down the years. Collecting precious memories The way we please In the summer, sun will shine In winter, we'll drink summer wine spot to learn Oh, teach me tonight Starting with the ABCs of it Right down to the XYZs of it Help me solve the mysteries of it Teach me tonight The skies of blackboard of you and if a shooting star goes by I'll use that star to write I love you a thousand times across the sky one thing's very clear my love should the teacher so near my love 
graduation's almost here, my love. Teach me tonight. Tuned in to Lounge Academy live from the Hyatt on this July 7th, 2023. We're living here in the moment, ladies and gentlemen, as we live stream to tens of people worldwide. All united in the cause of preserving these beautiful old tunes. The great songs of the historic hotels.
Gershwin from Damsel in Distress. 1937. Seems like just yesterday. Here's a great one we we've done along the way at Lounge Academy, Ryan. This goes out to Brian Bond. He's homeworking on his house. The days, the days of wine and roses. and run away like a child at play through the meadowlands and toward a closing door a door marked nevermore that wasn't there before a lonely night discloses Introduce me to the days of wine and roses and you. I 
dance it is a dancing floor just for my love. Rogers and Hearts from Evergreen. Who remembers the show Evergreen? Janet does. Jackie. Jackie TQ. Thanks, everybody. That's a big thing. out by request. Somebody yelled it from across the room when I was getting ready to go on. <laughs> it has a it has a verse I didn't know that. Why wish me out? 
Why not retire to a farm And be contented to charm the birds off the trees Just disappear I care for you much too much When you are near, close to me near We touch too much clues in the lyrics of the song. I see the first time each time you're near me the thrill is new there is nothing that I wouldn't do for the rare delight of the sight of you Imagine 
how much I love you. Time I see you as years go by. I know the only one for me can only be you. My arms won't free you. Harry, thanks. Harry Warren and Mac Gordon from Diamond Horseshoe. Be nice to have a Diamond Horseshoe, wouldn't it? They say it's a girl's best friend. Suddenly you're older. Oh, exactly. 
because of the man that got away. and undone you the great beginning has seen the final ending don't know what happened it's all a crazy She could tell a story. Yeah, we'll do some more heartbreak songs. Some more getting screwed over songs. We laughed the first and loudest at that one. It's a defensive mechanism. He will call again. And you will fall again. For his words of love that aren't true. Give them up. You know it's true. But you're much too. 
too weak to fight his charms. So you'll run right back to his arms. I hurt you. get it. I'm trying to get it in. No, I think it's a... Who can't relate to that song? Oh, thank you. This is the end of romance I'll go my way by myself Love is only a dance I'll try to apply myself and teach my heart how to sing. I'll go my way by myself like a bird on the wing. Than I myself, I'm by myself alone.
in the sky above have put a watch on my fun I have to fly high above to find my place in the sun Handing out revolvers. <laughs> I know. We'll just come and see you next week. We're going. We're gonna go see home you next week. Well, it's been great. I'm so glad you guys came tonight. And you look so great. Big Lounge Academy looks so great. Dressing up, having fun in the heights. That's right. There they go. We're gonna watch them walk away, ladies and gentlemen. Some great lounge cadets. Suddenly your face appears But it's 
Depressing, but sad. sad. There's a difference between it and sad. I don't get depressed. I don't have the receptors for getting depressed. Fortunately. I had to get a picture of this and you. Okay. And I got it. She got it. Janet got it. This is so great. And I get to see you guys again next weekend. Oh, you're going to be here again? Through the, oh, we're going to see at the thing. I'm going to see at the thing. Unless you come by early for, I'm going to be here on Friday night. But I got to go to the Brighton. Um, yeah, me too. Oh, you're going? Well, I'm going to, I think I can go there afterwards because I looked it up and the band is playing. The uh, Nerds Gone Wild are playing till in the tent until midnight. So I'm going to like, I won't get there till late because I got to pack up and get the gear someplace safe. And then I'm going to haul out there and see who's left. I might be there for like the last hour or something. Well, I'll be there. Okay. A few of the guys are going to come out early. No, I might come the following week. And next week's going to be that Italian festival. I mean, we still here last year. We couldn't do the Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. I got to find another place to sleep next weekend for that because I'm closer to Hamburg. So I've got relatives in Tonawanda, so I see. I'm not sure if I'll be here, but you know, those men might be here for the next few years, and then I'll be here. Well, that'd be, that'd be great. A few of the guys are going to come early and then go to the thing. Oh, really? Because we start at 5, and it, I don't, okay, it doesn't right. start till later. Oh, I don't know what time we're supposed to be in our tent. What time we're supposed to be in our tent? I don't know. I'll look it up. It's usually. If I can, I'll be here. Yeah, I think I, I don't know what time it. I mean, it goes till midnight anyway. At least the entertainment does, you know. And, and then it means they, they probably don't kick everybody out the minute the entertainment ends. So I mean, if if somebody went at six, they'd be there for like six or seven hours. That's a long time. That's longer than we saw each other in high school. It is. <laughs> oh, you're set up. Fantastic. Love you. <laughs> we sat next to each other for the beers and you know, we, we really were like, I don't know, but I have a fruit. I guess you did. We weren't on the bus, we weren't on the bus, but we pulled a few stunts. Yeah, yeah. You always said good morning to me. Thank you. Well, good morning once more. <laughs> Good millennium. Good millennium. Who was that? Who was in charge of us? Black. Miss Black. And um, I'm 
I must have been there because I don't remember much of it. Well, the kid named Scrooge sat behind me because I was CZOMB and he was CZY. I remember, uh, I remember, I'm, I'm, you weren't in that class because you were too smart. I was in this dumb math class and um, Miss, a new teacher, she was brand new and she, you know, she couldn't really, and these were all like, there were some wild fraternity kid, frat kids and stuff and they're hard guys and uh, sort of dummies like me. And uh, she had trouble controlling the class. Her name was Miss Brester, so everybody was like making jokes about her name. And it was her first time teaching. What did, what did, I, what did I do? I brought, I brought like, incendiary devices and electrical burnout breaker burnout devices for for one of the hard guys that would do anything right I, I, I once i brought contact explosives and we put it all over the floor yes that's what i was that's do, do, do you remember that yes i was telling everybody Well, I got it out of my system. <laughs> I did. I got it completely out of my system. It's like Fourth of July. It's like you light them. I, I'm fine. I, I, Everybody thought you're explosive powder. Yeah, it was nitrogen triiodide. You take um, kids. The kids listening at home. You take iodine crystals. Good luck getting them nowadays. They're these purplish crystals that as soon as they're exposed to the air they start fuming purple it's like iodine apparently it goes from crystal from solid directly to a vapor state you know but the, the pharmacist used to sell me anything I'd go in there and ask for it, it ordered for me they'd encourage experimentation and then you soak them under ammonia and then it forms some sort of very unstable form of TNT or something. And, and, and it's, How did you grow out of it? How did I grow up? By doing so much of that stuff. I just got it out of my system. I was non-stop. That's right. Yeah, now it's like, I don't want to go near that stuff. I've done everything you could do with that. It was fun. And, you know, out of school, we do things with it, too, like put it on pennies, put it in the street, and then we just sit there at the, on the steps and wait for the cars to go by. <laughs> it didn't blow up the cars. It made a loud bang. And you get a, a puff of purple smoke when the stuff would go off. Dante knows about all that stuff, too. We are talking about contact explosives, like putting it on the floor at school. And people would step on it. You ever nit nitrogen triiodide? You were into other, other areas. <laughs> we all have specialties. <laughs> he was working his way through the ventilator, ventilation system to get to the off, get to the back of the administrative offices. Dragon missile? <laughs> that was, those were the real ones. Those were probably the real ones. Sad. Well, it's probably on balance, probably a good thing. <laughs> they might shoot back. That's the yeah. <laughs> See that turret moving around. So that's why the kids play video games. They get really good at that stuff. I don't know if they realize it could be real, though. Because they wouldn't know it's real. They'd still think they're in a game. Maybe that's a good thing, too. The Matrix. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got, we've only, we got 11 minutes to go. I'm going till the stinking end. Till they pry my dead cold fingers from the piano. On a clear day. 
eyes and look around you and you'll see who who you are wonderful seeing you again see you soon I hope you have a great week good night nice seeing you started his business selling ties. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to see that. That's great. We got so psyched seeing that, that, that story of his life. We had no we, we're, we're friends with um, his, his, a, a woman who was his personal chef for years. And, you know, we always thought that was really cool and stuff. Didn't know that much. Didn't really know that much, you know. Never saw the backstory to him. Just knew he was a huge, you know, innovator in fashion and everything. So we, the other night, we watched a, a documentary about it. And it was oh, this, guy, this is amazing. This guy's great. Responsibility. You gotta live up to that. <laughs> yeah, where's it where can you go from there? Do you get anything cool like a good parking spot or anything? <laughs> you do. There you go. Nothing's better than that. I get one here, and it's like it means the world to me. And it doesn't even matter. I mean, I could park at my place. It's just, you know. Okay. Well, great. Is it old stock? Like it's real stock from your business? No, no, I'm, I'm a business guy. I understand old stock. I've got lots of it. I've got it because I treasure it. No, I didn't, no, I didn't mean it in a, any kind of negative way. It's a, to an entrepreneur, that's a positive thing. It's the coveted stuff that you can't let go of. Oh, well. Oh, how sad. What a family tragedy that is. See now, see now, Dante, man, he knows how to dress. I love that hat. Doesn't he look great, Barbara? Good evening, Frank. Frank de Cesare. He's in sweltering Florida. Well, our friends from sweltering Florida are sitting right here around the piano in that Buffalo air conditioning. Uh oh, some of our friends online. Remember the teacher stepping on the explosive. Jean Laurie Garland. That's great, Jean. 
she failed 10th grade geometry. Did, oh, faith, yeah, 10th grade geometry. Yeah, that was Miss Brester, wasn't it? Because of all the crazy stuff that happened. Murphy, that one kid's name was Murphy. He'd do anything and he was this big, big, big guy. No one would mess with him. And I was just this little like mad scientist kid that looked like too young to be in the school. So I just give the stuff to this guy, Murphy. I remember I gave him this, a plug. I wired a plug to be a direct short. And when, when the little guy wheeled in the movie projector for a math movie, from, he, he followed his instructions and turned around because he was sitting in the back row and plug, plugged it into an outlet on the wall. And the thing just erupted. And it was like a welder going off. And he's this big, strong guy, and he's trying to keeps pulling it out, and part of it stayed welded into the thing. And then they, they thought there was something wrong with the movie projector. We were all dying laughing. There was Dennis Murphy. Dennis, I think, was his name, Gene. I actually took... I think I was one of three people that graduated. Not graduated, but passed her thing, because... My parents paid a fortune for private tutoring in, in a woman's home so I could pass that 10th uh, grade geometry, which was already like a dumbed down version of math. Now I wish, man, if I would have known what statistics, like who cared about statistics, right? I didn't care about statistics until about two weeks ago. I watched, I watched a YouTube video about, because I was curious about how AI works. Like how does it how, how does it how does it learn? How does it teach itself, right? I mean, I'm I just the mechanics of it. So I watched the, this, these lengthy explanations and realized it part of it is all statistics. It's all statistical math. Who would have thought it would turn out being like so important? I would have liked it if I knew that. I'm still a mad scientist. I think that's what I was voted most likely to be. Or is it was right? I was a mad scientist. I still am, but there's not much difference between that and just like an entrepreneur or inventor. admits they do that. Except me. I brag about it. It's like having a, it's like, now it's like the equivalent of having, you know, like Ivy League schools on your resume is that like you, you actually sit through those YouTube videos. And... when you found that. I know. And it's this, like, it's chicken. You know, kind of skinny on one side and it really has um, threads on it. Like, oh, I know. I've got like, one of those. Tap it in and then yeah. you do it out. Yeah, it's got a reverse and thread on it that, like, locks right. into and it. And then it takes you right out and it says, you can fix your own thing in five seconds. And I it did it right. And after I did that, I think and it I came out. It came right out. Beautiful. Put the new one in with the, the white wow. tape. Oh, nice job. And That's I impressive. And I didn't have to take any tiles out. And then my dad was going to charge me eight million dollars to do that. And I said, let me think about it. Got on YouTube. It's nipple extractor. It might have been fifteen dollars for that nipple extractor, but man, and I still got the other part of stuff to it, so I can show people. Nice. I learned how to fix 
YouTube, it was like a lot more challenging to get a hold of the information. I mean, you either had to like find the right books, which takes a little doing, you know. You can't just like now, you don't even have to set your coffee down or move your rear end. You're already sitting there in front of you. At least I am. I'm there all day. I love it. And, and the phone, yeah, right. Remember when you had to like pick people's brains? Like you'd have to, okay, I know a, I know a guy or a woman and her husband's a plumber, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see them, and I'll, you know, you just try to get like a, a if they're kind enough to give you a, a few bits of information before they, you know, you don't want them to like get bored talking about their business, their shop, you know. And then you gotta ask somebody else, and then you try something, and it was it was, it was brutal. I mean, you had to really like network as they say now to just to be able to like in fact they used they we, we don't even use the term that much anymore remember you used to say well can i pick your brain you don't have to pick your anybody's brain anymore right because everybody's just regurgitating the information on, on youtube for free oh right I, I did it first too, but yeah, I guess that's a natural method. It's how, it's how you get it on. Yeah, so you get it on there, and then somehow you got to get the, the the lip to press against the rim so that it'll start holding air, right? So it's so so you need like a sudden burst of a bear or, or a machine, you know. So they use lighter fluid or gasoline, yeah. I've never done it. I've always gone to Goodyear. <laughs> yeah, he comes and go. I hope well, he better be there this week. He's the main guy I go to see. Does he? He likes to talk politics. So you wind up fighting with everybody, and then you get mad because people are fighting with you. It's like it, it's a, it's a it's a recipe for disaster. So, so that's why people get mad and leave. In, invariably, it's because they've been talking politics.
turned out to be like a really great, great night, Bob. Career, Bob. Great to see you. Yeah, I know. That's how I am. I have to start at like eight in the morning to get here at five, and ready to play. I no exaggeration. It, it's like like Mary says, the task will expand to fill the time made available for it. She has that printed. And she tattoo around her well, waist. Well, I hope maybe I'll see you next week. Well, we hope so, Barbara. We really hope so, because Barbara really really puts us up a couple levels here at Lounge Academy. We'll see everybody again next week. Gene, I'm sorry about that 10th grade you failed. I, I feel... I might have to tutor you in math because I feel like I had something to do with that. again next week everybody in exactly seven days minus three hours have a great week I will now fade to black it's a, yeah I'm just letting the thing run out so I gotta tell you this tie story I had jury duty when I was in the tie business.